In this lesson, we're going to talk about the union, and this is just one of the many parts that are available out there that one can use to assemble an irrigation system or to effect a repair. Uh, but this union is best used as a point of disconnect. Um, what we've got here is, this is a backflow preventer. It's brass. Um, in moderate uh, to cold climates, these things can freeze and burst during the winter. So what we like to do is put a union on one on each side of it so that when it comes time to shut the system down for the winter, we can just take this apart. For instance here, if you see this union, it's just got a, a locking collar here and then it pulls apart and you can pull this right up out of its fitting and then put it in the garage for the winter, bring it back out next spring and put it in. There's a number of different devices that we would want to disconnect on. A backflow preventer is one of them. A, a lake pump, you know, pulling water out of a lake. Um, that's one of the things that can freeze over the winter. The uh, cast iron or steel bodies of those can expand and burst. Um, in cold climates. But um, what we really like here about this is this gives you a chance to disconnect. And if you're putting together a, um, a well or any type of external device that is valuable or can burst, one of the things about these backflow preventers, them being brass, is that they're subject to being stolen. Brass does have a um, a value if you take it to a recycler. So when you see these things sitting around, if they're exposed, you may want to take them out when they're not in use and put them away so that either A, they don't burst or they're not stolen. Um, so really what we're looking at here, we're going to take a look at this particular union, take this thing apart. And this one is a slip. Um, joints here so that it goes right over the pipe, but you can get these with a threaded joints as well. But see, what we're looking at here is one O-ring on one side and then a flat surface on the other so that when these are matched up, that provides a good solid um, closure there. And then once you put the collar on and <clears throat> bring this thing together, this is usually a, a leak-proof fitting I wouldn't use these type of fittings in repair situations. I think I've seen one or two times in the past where somebody would put one of these on in hopes of using this collar to pull two pieces of pipe together that weren't quite you know, wide enough and they thought maybe if they glued this thing on here they could use these threads to pull it together. I, I wouldn't do that and in fact I've never really seen many repair situations to where you could use the um, the union effectively just simply because like if you have two pieces of pipe here and you're trying to make a connection it, it's difficult to bend the pipes and get this in place. Usually if there's enough room you'll just want to use an expansion repair fitting to do that instead of the union. Almost exclusively we use these unions as a point of disconnect. And this white one here, the white color indicates that it's a Schedule 40 uh, fitting. I personally prefer the Schedule 80 fittings, which are gray and thicker. Um, and they do a better job, especially if you're taking uh, lake pumps or backflow preventers in and out every year. You want this union to be the best possible shape. Now, of course, you can get these in steel. Uh, I think maybe I've seen one in brass before uh, attached to other devices. But for the most part, um, these are pretty, you know, pretty easy to deal with and always best to keep one or two of them on your truck just in case you get into a situation that you need to put a part on that's removable. Or if you dealing with a lake pump that wasn't installed with these, then if you have to cut that pipe, then just slip one back in. You'll be doing a favor for your client and they're not too expensive. I think maybe this is six bucks. Um, this is a one inch. And if you look at the uh, Schedule 80 version, I don't think they're much more than that, maybe 10 or $11 at the store. So it's a good one to keep on hand. 